Alright, hey, I know I haven't done a video in a while, but weather's been crappy, uh, as usual, but, um, vapors have a little separation in a little, in like two or three places, uh, especially on the left shoe, on the big toe area, a little to the side, just a little bit, and also a little on the other side, a couple places, which is kind of annoying, but, I have a backup plan if they rip completely and I'm not getting vapors again. I'm probably not going to get them anyway as long as they stop, uh, as long as they uh, continue selling CTRs because CTRs are by far my favorite cleat ever I've ever worn. Um, but yeah, if that happens, I'm probably going to get a standard pair of, um, well, it all depends. I just don't want anything to happen to my CTR elites. Um, the problem with the, those is the fact that they're white, it gets scuffed, and it turns black with the turf. But I'll think of something. I mean, I have, uh, like, Eurosport gift cards and uh, extra money from selling old soccer, like soccer cleats and stuff. I sold my Preds because I never use them, and I wanted some extra backup money just in case. Um, but this video is just uh, Tiempo unboxing, Tiempo soft grounds. Um, I used them today. They were pretty good. I think I need to double sock though to kind of fill it in a little more. They were a little bit too loose, which is weird because I have a pretty wide foot. Um, but they were fairly comfortable breaking them in. Uh, not too much break in time. Um, and so yeah, here it is. Tiempo. Nice bag. It's not one thing I love about, well, several things I like about Nike a lot is that uh, they come with nice bags. Just something cool. And it also has this zippered pocket on the inside here you can put things in. Um, so I did use these today but I cleaned them off pretty nicely. Um, they do and this happens a lot. I did clean it with soap and warm water except for that area apparently there's a little dirt. But the th only thing I don't like is with these white um, Nike uh, swoosh mark or whatever you want to call it, marks, whatever, it gets scuffs and it's really hard to clean kind of dirt off, And uh, but again, no big deal. It's good because it's uh, black so it's not going to get all muddy and stay there. Um, so the leather is extremely soft. I can't find my leather food. I might have to order more because I want to keep this, these nice. Um, it's combined, it has le uh, kangaroo leather combined with kangalite, which is that synthetic leather. But kangalite's awesome. I mean, I have it with my CTR, and it's very much like kangaroo leather, and that's the way it's supposed to be. Conical um, soft ground studs that are removable, which is kind of annoying because on soccer.com it says they weren't, which is what I like about them so much because now I have to worry about them falling out. Um, but here's the other one, and you know, they look really nice, they're endorsed by Shard BK, who I, of whom I have a poster of, um, they're pretty comfortable, they have a nice insole there, they have a really cool back design right there, and the bottoms look very cool as well. Um, all around they're a pretty solid shoe, I have a little more toe room up there than I'd like, uh, cause this, the toe box is pretty wide, a little wider than I'd like it, but um, the laces are nice, I love Nike laces, they always fit nice and tight, um, yeah, so they got two little ones right here, which I don't know why, I mean these ones are way longer than these, I don't think it'll make a difference, like I said, leather's really nice, um, I mean there's really nice solid boot, only wear them once and the only scuffs you can really get on these are on the white swoosh because everything else is like black or orange. Uh, well, I guess also on the white back here, but whatever. And it also comes... No, that's for track, never mind. But it also comes with um, a tool. I'm not really sure what this one's for. I don't even know if it works. No, I don't know actually what this one's for, but this one is for uh, tightening your studs, which I recommend you do every time. Um, cause I actually had a pair of, uh, near cool vapors that my friend had. They lasted like three years and then the studs came out and you can't put them back in because the rivets or the spiral part in, um, that you screw these into, I guess it wore away so you can't physically screw them in anymore. Um, 
so but soft grounds really help these will last me a long time a because if my feet are still growing they will grow into these b i don't go on especially for high school we play a lot of our games on turf unfortunately and if it's raining i mean we're, i don't know how many games we're gonna have to play in rain but chances are they will be on turf a lot um, but if it's on grass i will have these in for a cup um, soccer we do play on grass i'm pretty sure almost all the time especially in practice so if it rains i'll have these uh, for obviously for soft ground. Um, so yeah, it comes with that tool, which is nice, and I really don't want to lose it, so right now I'm actually going to put it in the pocket that's in the bag. So um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Just showing you guys that I have these. Hopefully I can do a review as soon as possible. And uh, I have everything I need for the review on the CTRs and the Vapors. Problem is, I've only had them for a month. I still have to, you know, get them to last through the season. Um, the CTRs are holding up really well, as a matter of fact they're holding up even better than usual than they could if they weren't elite, because the difference between, well obviously except for the carbon fiber and thus the weight, the difference between the regular CTR, the Maestri 2 and the elites, are the Maestri's actually have better protection in the front from the toe ripping, it has this sort of uh, plastic, I don't know what it is, but thing that comes up to kind of support the toe box of the Maestri 2's. Um, and that way it prevents rips in the toe area but my seat, my elites are holding up just fine and they don't have that even but um, hopefully those will last me through winter um, cup and things like that um, and because I don't want to have to buy a new pair but I'm more worried about my vapors but like I said time will tell about the durability and that's the only thing I need to uh, make the full review so thanks for watching and uh, just show you some of the views, or, uh, views of the Tiempos Left side, insole, okay, that's pretty much it, thanks for watching.